Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we are going to talk about feeding dairy cattle. Feeding dairy cattle involves giving them a diet that is balanced, that is it contains all the nutrients that they need for growth, milk production and maintenance. Okay, The diet should be tailored specifically depending on the age of the dairy cattle, the weight of the dairy cattle, the stage of growth, whether it's lactating, that is producing milk or not. A typical dairy cow diet consists of the following. First and foremost, it consists of fodder crops, okay, such as napier grass. Maize can also be grown as a fodder crop to feed to your dairy cattle, okay. Then you can also grow crops such as bracaria, okay. Then you may also feed your dairy cattle with hay. So basically you dry grass and feed it to your dairy cattle. You can also feed it with silage. Okay. This is basically dairy cattle food that is preserved through fermentation. Okay. Then you can also feed your dairy cattle with pasture, which basically refer to things that in like for example grass that the dairy cattle consumes directly from the field. In addition to that, you can feed your dairy cattle with concentrates in small amounts. Okay. Concentrates includes things such as grains, protein supplements, and mineral supplements. Forages are important because they provide fiber and energy, while concentrates are important because they provide protein, energy, and other nutrients that are needed or that are very necessary for milk production. It is, it is important to ensure that you are feeding your dairy cattle with a lot of forages and very little concentrates. Okay? This is because a dairy cow is a rumen, so preferably it prefers forages, things such as grass, napier grass as opposed to grains, okay? In addition to the feeds, dairy cattle should also be given access to clean water, which should be preferably available at all times. In addition to that, you need to put in measures to ensure that you are not underfeeding your dairy cattle. This is because if you underfeed them, they will grow slowly, more slowly, but you should also avoid overfeeding because if you overfeed them, they will become obese, okay, and come up with health complications. Now let's look at how to formulate a dairy meal, okay? That is our next topic. So a dairy meal basically falls under a category known, known as concentrates, which we've already mentioned before. So you should feed it to your dairy cattle in form of supplements. It should not be the main meal. And preferably you should make it using locally available materials which are less expensive and will therefore allow you to make more more profit okay advantages of making or formulating the dairy meal at home as opposed to to buying it is if you do it carefully you're getting the same quality at a much cheaper price okay so to formulate a dairy meal you'll need energy or foods that are rich in energy such as maize jam, wheat pollard, molasses, and wheat bran. Then you'll also need something that is rich in protein such as cotton seed cake, lucerne, soya meal, bracaria, and fish meal. In addition to that, you'll need something that will provide minerals such as DCP, limestone, and vitamin premix. Okay, so you should make it in such a way that you have a dairy meal that contains about 16% protein. Okay? The formulation of dairy meal varies greatly depending on different factors. Okay? For example, the type of forage available. 
okay remember that you are making a meal which is going to supplement the forage that is available so you are going to look at the forage that is available and come to a conclusion on what is missing then the type of dairy meal will also depend on the stage of growth of the dairy cattle dairy cattle are different stages of growth new different types of nutrients okay the first step in formulating a dairy feed is to determine the nutritional need of animals so how much protein does this dairy cow need how much energy how much fiber does it need so you first determine the nutritional need then once you've determined the nutritional needs you're going to select the ingredients which will then be combined to meet the need of the dairy cattle okay as a general rule of thumb any dairy feed should contain at least 50 percent roughage okay the roughage component can come from different sources such as hay silage and past pasture okay then the other 50 percent can be a concentrate which may be derived from things such as corn barley and wheat okay though preferably you can even do 70 30 so that the forage is 70 percent and the concentrate is 30 okay the exact proportions of each ingredients varies greatly de depending on the nutritional requirement of the animal formulating of dairy feeds is nowadays mostly done with a specialized software that can give you what you need okay and it's very important to note that the the process is something that needs that will change from time to time okay for example if you have a cow that is giving milk you are giving it a certain type of feed then once it stops giving milk you adjust a bit okay so things like that okay and now before we wind up we are going to discuss about a concept known as total mixed ration or tmr which is basically a type of dairy feed that contains everything okay it includes both roughages made from derived from fodder and concentrates mixed in a specific predetermined ratio to ensure that your dairy cattle are getting a balanced diet okay think of it for example in human for example serving someone a meal that contains everything carbohydrates proteins vitamins and so forth so you mix everything together in a tmr mixer okay then you ensure that everything is uniformly mixed then you give it to your animals to ensure that they are getting the same diet regardless of their position or feeding order okay the tmr can be delivered to the animal several times a day okay preferably two or three times the ingredients of the total mixed ratio can vary greatly this depends on the nutritional requirements of the dairy animals and the available ingre ingredients however the basic components of a tmr or a total mixed ration includes forages okay also known as roughages then grains proteins and miner minerals and vitamins which form the concentrates okay you may also use hay or silage okay total mixed ration feeding offers several advantages over other traditional feeding methods first it allows for a better control of the feeding intake okay then it also provides a more balanced and consistent diet as opposed to changing it from time to time okay lastly tmr is more efficient okay it reduces feed waste and allows for more accurate feeding of animals okay so that's all about how to feed your dairy animals see you